Hey, and welcome to another data structures video. And this time we're going to be doing an example of AVL deletion. Okay. Uh, last time we did insertion. So, real quick with deletion, we have to remember a couple things. First off, deletion is the same as a binary search tree. So, when we delete, we got to see if it has zero children, one child, or two children perform the regular BST deletion. And then it's the post processing that's different um, with the AVL tree. Okay. So, after we do the deletion, then we have to start at the node that we deleted. Uh, and then we go up the tree all the way to the root. And if there's anything that's unbalanced, we have to balance it. Okay. Okay. So for the first one, let's uh, start with something a little simple and let's delete 31. Okay. So, so we want to delete 31. Now, once we delete this, what we have to do is go to its parent. Uh, so you in the code, you would check to see if it has a parent, make sure it's not the root. So we're going to go to the parent node. Now, 31 had zero children. So just like in the BST, if you have zero children, you just simply delete the node because it's also the leaf node. All right, so we just delete it, and then we go to the parent at 50. All right, so we go to 50 here, and we check, is this balanced? All right, so 50. Left subtree, height of zero. Right subtree, height of one. Zero minus one is negative one. That's balanced. All right, so let's go up to 28. 28, left subtree uh, of one, height of one, right subtree, height of two. One minus two is negative one. That's balanced. Now let's go up to 18. Uh, 18 has a left subtree, height of two, right subtree, height of three. Two minus three is negative one. That's balanced. So this is good. It was balanced after the deletion. Let's delete another node. Uh, so let's delete... Uh, let's delete 28. Okay. So we want to delete 28 right here. Uh, so what do we do if it has two nodes or, or two children? Well, what it's going to be is to find the predecessor. And that's always going to be the rightmost child of the left subtree. All right. So the left subtree here only has one child and that's 24. So this is going to be, this is going to be relatively easy to replace. But in the BST deletion, we would simply, we're deleting 28, and we're going to replace this with 24, okay? So this is the BST deletion, all right? So now at this node, um, we need to check to see if it's starting here. We need to check to see if it's balanced, and then work our way up to the root. So 24 has a left subtree of 0, height of 0, right subtree height of 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. That is not balanced, okay? Now we have to rebalance it. So the first node we find that's imbalanced, you denote as Z, you take the child with the greatest height, that's 50, denote that Y, then you take Y's child that has the greatest height, and that's 55, that's X, all right? Now this is a right heavy tree. This is in a single, this is a single line, all right, that means we have to do one left rotation. Okay, so we're going to do one left rotation. And then the, now this tree is going to look like this. So we're going to, uh, now the right node here, instead of 24, it's going, to be, oops, it's going to be 50. The left child is going to be 24. Right child, 55. The left subtree of 18 is going to look the same. All right, 18, five. So we go back up to 18. Uh, 18's node has a left subtree height of two, right subtree height of two, two minus two is zero. That's balanced, okay? So let's do, um, let's do a deletion at 18. Let's do the root node, all right? So we wanna delete 18. Let's delete that. So again, this has uh, two children, you want to get the predecessor, you want the rightmost child of the left subtree. So here, that means that's 15. So P, the predecessor, equals 15. So we're basically going to be moving this up to where 18 is. All right. So let's restructure this. All right. So now we want to delete, uh, we want, let's just delete uh, five first. Okay. This is a leaf node. So zero children. On a regular BST, don't do anything except just delete it. 
Now with the post-processing of Navial tree, we need to go back up to the root and see if anything is imbalanced. So we go to 10. Uh, 10 is also now a leaf node, so it's balanced. Then 15. 15 is a left subtree of 1, height of 1, right subtree height of 2, 1 minus 2, negative 1. This tree is balanced again, okay? So now then let's delete 10, which is a leaf node. Now go to its parent. Let's check the heights of the left subtree and right subtree. Well, left subtree of 15, uh, so we go up to the parent. The left subtree of 15 it has a height of 0. The right subtree has a height of 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So at, at node 15, this is an imbalanced tree. So like we had before, Z, we're going to mark this Z because it's the first node that's imbalanced. We're going to mark the greatest child, or the child with the greatest height as Y. So in this case, it's 50. Mark that Y. And here we have a tie. So the left subtree and the right subtree both have the same height. In a tie, you go, you do um, what Z did, right? Um, or you do what, the, yeah, you do what Z did. So if in this case, Z, we went to the right child to mark as Y. So we're going to go to the right child of Y and mark that X, right? You kind of follow the same pattern. So we have Z, Y, X, and uh, 24 is going to be considered uh, subtree T3. So in the explain video, I went over um, if you have subtrees um, besides the three nodes that are being moved, then the T3 is what is going to also need to be relinked in the rotation. So if you remember here, um, in this rotation, we have to do a left, one left, a single left rotation. Because these are all in a straight line, and it's right heavy, you do one left rotation. All right. So this is now going to look like 50, 15, 55. And then 24 is going to be moved over here. All right. And again, after a single restructuring and a deletion, it's balanced. So you can take any node here. And it's going to be balanced. You don't need to check anymore. Once you do one restructuring, if there's an imbalance, you're done. Okay. Uh, so let's just delete one more. Okay. So pretty much all we can do here is we can delete 55 to do another rotation. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to delete 55. All right. So let's go back up. Let's go back up to its parent and check to see if it's balanced or not. Well, 50 is less of tree has a height of. 2, right subtree has height of 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. So it's not balanced. All right, so at 50, that is the greatest height. All right, uh, that's the first imbalanced tree. We go to the child with the greatest height. Well, in this case, the left subtree does. So we're going to mark that Y. And then we're going to do the same thing and mark uh, node 24 as X. So we're going to, because this is not in a straight line, all right, uh, we're going to do the double rotation. So you first do rotation around X and Y. This will be a left rotation, okay? So this is going to be uh, 50, 24, 15, all right? Now this is still not balanced because if you take node 50 still, this left subtree is still t has a height of two, right subtree still has a height of zero. So it's still imbalanced. So we have to do one more rotation. And this time it's gonna be a right rotation. All right, because this is now the straight line uh, that's left heavy. So that means you do the single right rotation. So now this is going to look like this. 24, 15, and 50. Okay? And that is deleting um, in an AVL tree. All right, so you do the same deletion again as you would a BS uh, binary search tree. You take the three cases, zero children, one child, two children. After you do the deletion, you go to the parent node, and you just work your way up the tree. Right? You just basically work your way back up the tree to see if anything's in balance. If there is, you do the restructuring. You label Z, Y, and X, do the restructuring, the, basically the rotations that we already learned. Uh, so I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section, and I'll be more than happy to help you. And if you need more videos, I will make more example videos. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.